this is little baby bean it's crazy because it's only been a week but you feel so attached to this little baby already it's kind of everything makes me want to be sick are you excited <laughs> it almost just felt like everything disappeared and i am off to my very first ultrasound i'm due in mid-october which is also our 10 year anniversary Hey guys, I finally charged my camera so I could officially do a little update. Um, this is going to be, my, I guess, my first trimester sort of recap or vlog. I think I've watched every single one of these videos on the internet, like I swear to God, and I absolutely love them. I just find it so helpful, especially at the start of your first trimester, to sort of like almost like know what you could be in for. Obviously every woman has a different pregnancy. I think it's just good to sort of have a general idea of like what is happening. Um, so I am currently week in week five. Um, I think I'm like five weeks in two days or something. I still have yet to actually go to the doctors to get a blood test or anything like that because when I called last week, the waiting time was over a week. So it still, I guess like doesn't quite feel real yet. Um, I do have like symptoms and stuff and I've still been doing at home tests every single day just to like make sure it's sort of progressing. Um, but yeah, I guess it just doesn't feel just quite real yet without having gone to the doctors. So I get to do that tomorrow and I am quite excited for it. We've told a few people, which obviously it's quite early and I guess each to their own, but um, a lot of my friends and family don't live where we live and I actually saw them last weekend when we found out. It just felt like the right time I guess to be able to tell them in person as opposed to having to wait a few months to be able to tell them if that makes sense. So we have told maybe like five people so far. Um, but yeah, so far I don't really have any crazy symptoms other than just like sore boobs and fatigue. They're probably the main two symptoms. I did have a worrisome night the other day and the only reason why I want to say this on camera is because I want to document it to look back on for myself. So on Friday night, my symptoms just disappeared all of a sudden. Like I didn't have sore boobs anymore. Um, I didn't feel like bloated, like I've been feeling, I wasn't feeling crampy. Like it almost just felt like everything disappeared. Um, and I was really nervous about that. Like I was crying all night being like, it's, you know, something bad has happened. Um, I got on Google, <laughs> which I feel like you shouldn't do but every pregnant woman is gonna do it. Um, and it basically said like, yeah, it could be a bad time, but it also could be completely normal because hormones just fluctuate all the time. And I woke up the next day and everything was back as normal. So I don't really know what that was, but I guess I wanted to document it because in case any of you guys have had the same sort of feelings, like you've had symptoms, they've gone away and come back because I was so, so scared. It's crazy because it's only been a week, but you feel so attached to this little baby already. And, you know, we've already thought about names, we've thought about the nursery, and we've just, like, talked about our whole lives for the rest of the year. It's an exciting time, but also really nerve-wracking. I don't think my anxiety has ever been this bad. Um, yeah, it's just, like, such a whirlwind of emotions, and I didn't even consider that when falling pregnant, just, like, how, I guess, nerve-wracking the first trimester is. But, yeah. If you guys are in your first trimester and you're feeling the same, just know you're not alone. It's totally okay and normal to feel, you know, a little bit anxious, but also just like take in every moment because it's so special. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I will update you guys when I go to the doctors. So I just got back from the doctors and I thought I would do a little update. I'm now five weeks and I think five days. So I got my blood test a few days ago and then I had to go in again for another blood test today daisy um yeah it feels a lot more there it is it feels a lot more real now like going to the doctors obviously getting it sort of confirmed and just being able to ask questions and things like that so it definitely feels more real now which is crazy the last few days i have had a little bit of nausea i'm actually out of breath already and the other thing i've experienced this week is food aversions i literally like the sound of everything makes me want to be sick like i haven't been sick yet but just everything sounds gross like nothing sounds appetizing and even just the smell of stuff you're just like mm, like i don't want that textures bleh, no so that's been interesting andy's been going to like the shops because i'm like no i don't want that for dinner like even last night we had burrito bowls and i had one sort of spoonful and was like no nah, i cannot eat this so 
yeah, food aversions are definitely a real thing. My current reality, no makeup, messy hair, and on this couch 24 7. I'm now in week 7. I don't know when I last updated this vlog was, but yeah, as I said, this couch, this blanket, this pillow, we are now best friends because I spend pretty much every single hour of every day just lying down on this couch. Um, the nausea has definitely cranked up the last week. I am very thankful I haven't actually been sick sick, but it's just kind of like all day nausea. It honestly just feels like a hangover or sort of like motion sickness. Like I feel like anytime I move, I just feel so dizzy and like I want to vomit and things like that. And it's really bad at nighttime. I've started having um, Savoy's beside my bedside table and just like a bottle of water. That seems to do the trick when I first wake up. But yeah, today is definitely the roughest it's been. It's now 2 p.m. and I'm starting to feel a bit better. But all morning I've been so sick. My two best friends right now are Sour Patch Kids. Apparently sour lollies and hard boiled lollies are quite good for nausea. I don't really know the science behind it, but Enix used to have Sour Patch Kids. Um, and Savoy, I've gone through a whole packet this week. My two aversions this week so far, or the two main ones, have been water and coffee. I don't know why, because I'm addicted to water and I'm addicted to coffee, but I cannot stomach either of them. And I saw someone on Instagram talk about this the other day too, so let me know if this is something you've also struggled with, but it's weird that I cannot stomach water. Right, good morning guys, I'm so sorry <laughs> about the lighting. It is early in the morning, so the sun is peeking through the car. Um, it is Friday morning and I am off to my very first ultrasound. I'm exactly eight weeks today. Um, so we're doing like the dating scan to see if that is correct and just hopefully hear the heartbeat and everything. I would say I'm excited but I think I'm more anxious than anything. Um, I'm sure this is probably quite normal for like first time mums but I guess you just don't really know what to expect and you hope everything's running smoothly. I have no reason not to think it isn't but I'm just an anxious mess. So yeah, I'm off to do that. Andy is driving me today but he's unfortunately not allowed to come in which we're so sad about um just like the covid restrictions and everything um they've limited it to just like the pregnant person <laughs> and not a partner um but hopefully for our 12 weeks here we can go somewhere else that is a bigger like not an office what would you call it clinic. clinic yeah a bigger clinic so that he can come but the first one he can't which i'm sad about i am gonna ask to film they said no when i asked them on the phone but i'm just gonna ask them again and see what they say but yeah that is what we're off to do right now yeah are you excited <laughs> i feel like for guys it doesn't even feel real so i think like actually seeing the baby on an ultrasound or getting to hear its heartbeat probably makes it feel more real for them so yeah hopefully we get the ultrasound pictures but i will let you know how we go So it's been a couple hours now and we just got back from getting the ultrasounds done. This is little baby Bean and I cannot hardly believe it. I unfortunately didn't get to hear the heartbeat because apparently it's too early. I know some people can though, so I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just like the technology that some um, places have. But yeah, she did tell me it was 165 beats per minute, which I'm pretty sure is healthy so that's all that matters but it definitely feels a little bit more real now getting to see the ultrasound and see it on the monitor and everything like that the only thing is um she tried to do like the external ultrasound and again baby was too small so then they had to do the internal one i was a little bit nervous because i knew that that was a possibility of the eight week scan but it really wasn't that bad so yeah if you have to have one done it's it's easier than a pap smear i will say that um it's just uncomfortable because they but it takes like 10 minutes to do it, so that's the only thing. But yeah, we have all these pictures. I'm measuring seven weeks and four days, so I think that's three days behind what I thought I was. I feel like even when you get a due date, you could go like, you could go like two weeks before, you could go like a week or so after. But yeah, I'm due in mid-October, which is also our 10-year anniversary. And 
I just feel like that's so special and I kind of hope <laughs> we have the baby on our 10 year anniversary but we will see so yeah I'll keep you guys updated oh also the other thing to note is that it is just one baby in there I'm a twin if you guys didn't know that so there was obviously a chance that I could have a twin so yeah only one baby and I'm pretty happy about that Well, I am looking fabulous. I don't even know if I'm going to include this clip because I look like this. <laughs> um, but I am exactly 10 weeks today. I have not really updated the vlog in a while. Like, I feel like it's been a couple weeks. But the reason I jumped on here is because I was actually going to the doctor today to do the 10-week harmony or nip test to find out the gender and just the genetic testing. Um, but I don't know if you can hear it from my voice. I've actually woken up sick, so I'm not sure if it's the C word. I'm not sure if it's just the general flu. I will say it's not a cold because the symptoms are so intense. Like, I think this is honestly the worst cold I've ever had, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is the C word. But on a positive note, I did um, order a heart rate Doppler that came in the mail today. I was just having a little play around with it. I'm not sure if I found the baby's heart rate or my heart rate. I just thought it'd be a cool little thing to have. So that is just my little 10 week update. Me again, although a few days later, I think I spoke too soon the other day when I said that I was sick, but I didn't think I had COVID. Um, that's exactly what I have. It's Friday and I tested positive on Wednesday. You can probably hear it in my voice. So it's been five days now of symptoms. It's getting slightly better each day, but it's still just like, I guess a normal cold and flu, like a runny, a, a stuffy nose, a little bit of a cough. Um, I did have a sore throat, but that's sort of gone today actually. But yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how we go. I would be lying if I said it didn't worry me a little bit having COVID in my first trimester. Good afternoon, guys. I'm just making myself a cup of coffee. This stuff is incredible. I think I said at maybe like week seven that I had a coffee aversion and it has not gone away. I still cannot stand the taste or smell of coffee. Daisy! Um, so I'm literally doing anything I can to like it because I cannot function without coffee. <laughs> so I bought this Choc Orange Mocha version. Um, pretty much just tastes like hot chocolate to be honest, so I really enjoy it. But yeah, I have no idea how much caffeine's in it. I would assume not that much being like the packet stuff, but I'm really missing coffee. Actually, the one thing I have been, um, I guess, subbing it for is English breakfast tea. I love English breakfast um, and I just got the extra strong one so this is what I have in the morning until I like coffee again but I'm just gonna have this now because I'm so tired I went to the gym this morning and I swear it's just like catching up to me now so I thought I would make this and do my last little update for my first trimester vlog I am now 12 weeks and one day which just like feels so crazy to me like I just feel like I've had so much anxiety this whole um, first trimester and just the fact that I've made it here now is like wild and I just feel so grateful um, we haven't yet had our 12 week scan that's coming up um, next Monday so still like about a week away but we are so excited just to see the baby again and to actually see it look like a baby as opposed to a bean <laughs> Um, and I've literally been using that like little heart rate duffel up pretty much every day because I just absolutely love listening to the heartbeat. I also did the nip test last week, so the gender and genetic testing, or the sex I should say. And we should hopefully find out this weekend. I cannot wait. I might film it honestly because we're doing our like announcement photo shoot with our friends and then we're also going to do the gender reveal on the same day. So I might film a little like behind the scenes sort of action. Other thing, I wanted to do a 12 week bob date because I haven't really done these very much. This is what it's currently looking like. If you can see that. Do if I turn this way. There is a tiny little bump there. I just look really bloated pretty much, but I definitely can tell that there is 
a bump there, which is just crazy. So I'm going to sip my little coffee and go over how I've been feeling, I guess, the last week or so. Um, as I mentioned in the last clip, I did end up having COVID last week. I think it was last week. The week before. Um, thankfully, I feel so much better now. I do still sometimes get like a little bit of... Wow. English a little bit of like a chesty cough but other than that like honestly feel pretty good and also the last week everything has just sort of felt so much more normal I'm getting my energy back I went to the gym like four times last week which is the most I've gone since fat since falling pregnant um, so that feels really good to just be back in the swing of those and my food aversions have also gone away so I've been eating you know, healthy food again, fruit and veg, like meal prepping my lunches again and just all of that. So it just helps me feel a lot more normal because I am someone who is such a creature of habit. I love meal prepping. I love being organized. I love going to the gym and all of that kind of stuff. And it just felt very weird, I guess, not being able to do that the past three months and also like not being able to talk about it, especially on Instagram, because I do post on there pretty much every single day and it just... It almost feels like you're like lying because you just can't tell people what's going on. So that's definitely been like a weird like transition to have to think about. But I'm really excited to just be able to announce it to the world <laughs> and be able to talk all about it. I'm just so, so excited. I feel like I didn't go over every like little symptom I had. So I might do a separate video if anyone is interested because there was so many weird symptoms like nosebleeds and vivid dreams and all of that stuff so i don't know i might do a separate video i haven't quite figured it out yet please let me know if you want to keep seeing vlogs from me i obviously stopped filming back in december which is roughly around the time we found out and yeah now that we know we're having a baby like i want to come back to vlogging i want to capture all of these memories and all of that stuff so yeah please let me know if you want to keep seeing some like pregnancy vlogs and just general fitness and health vlogs and yeah Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to follow my journey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.